Welcome back. Well, saving for your children's future can be a daunting task. Here to offer a handful of simple tips is the author of Good Parents Worry, Great Parents Plan. Please welcome to our show attorney, author, and mother of four, Laura Meyer. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. Mother of four. Wow. <sighs> yes. You have a lot to plan for. I have one, and I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> exactly. I mean, okay, well, t tell us about this, because I think that we were speaking during the break about with the political climate the way it is, you don't know what's going to be happening in the next year, let alone 10 years, 20 years. Exactly. So where do people start? So I think the best thing to do is for parents just to realize it is our responsibility to take control of our family's future and not look to the outside world to always be doing that for us. So the first thing that we want to do as parents is we want to make sure that our kids would be completely protected if anything should happen to us. So what that means is we have to name permanent guardians to raise our kids just in case something happens to us. Otherwise, a judge who doesn't even know us has to decide. It's such a hard call to when you think about that. It is. So one of the tips I give parents is just make the decision for the next three years yeah. and then you can reevaluate then. Takes that's the pressure off. No, that really does. I mean, yeah. when you say that's a completely different perspective, because I just think, well, who's going to be alive at a certain point? Because Jackson, mm -hmm. my son, is only a year old. Oh, so, yeah. yeah. That's yeah, so many a good things tip. will change. So it takes the pressure off. Three year rule. Yeah, mm -hmm. I love that. Okay, what else as far as monetary or, or planning to make sure they're taken care of? Yeah, so the next thing you want to think about is how to make sure that the money you have that you would leave behind would be accessible for the kids, whoever's you know raising them, and to make sure there's enough resources left behind. So for most of us parents, when our kids are young, we don't have enough assets to finish raising them, right? right. Otherwise, we wouldn't both be at work. Right. So <laughs> the way that we do that is through life insurance. So parents, and especially even stay-at-home moms or dads, we often overlook that. We need to make sure both parents have enough life insurance to make sure there is resources left behind for the kids. The second thing is we need to make sure that we set things up so the money can easily go to them. Mm -hmm. So if we don't do that, our family ends up in a 12 to 18 month long yeah. court process just to get our money. So the thing that we need to do in California is what's called a trust. And a trust is just a legal document you would complete that says this is who I am, this is who my you know son is. Right. Uh, and any afterborn kids, yeah. we won't push that on you, but um, <laughs> just, in case. just in case. And then um, this is how the money goes goes to you know my spouse or child when I pass away and on what terms and it's all done privately and efficiently without the hassle of court. Right. Yeah. Now okay you went obviously in order and I forgot to say the acronym plan but now we're at the N. <laughs> so necessity yeah. what does that stand for? So necessity means us parents just need to do it. And we have mm -hmm. so many things in our daily lives that keep us from planning and you know, saving for the future, protecting our kids. We're so busy arranging play dates yeah. and getting through the work days that we often overlook this. I always say it's right up there with cleaning out the garage. We know we need to do it, but we don't want to do it. So making sure that we make planning a priority is the best thing we can do for our family. You have to, and you just, it, for me, it, the hardest part is thinking about who would take care of them. Right. So, you know, because I know he'll be financially taken care of, but the, yeah. who will yeah. raise him to be the kind of child right. or man I want him to grow up to be. So three year oh, plan, yeah. I love that. Yeah, I and in that. my book, Good Parents Worry, Great Parents Plan, I spend a few chapters helping parents decide who should be the guardian and I show them the six common mistakes most parents make so you can be confident in your choice. I'm reading this book. It's a number one bestseller. Where can people get it? Uh, you, they can go to Amazon right now, uh, Amazon.com and it's right there and you can even download uh, it on your right. iPad as well. I'm still a paper kind of girl, but I know that people I have are a all going to be downloading. You, you do? So, yes. I'm so excited. Okay. Thank you so much. Laura Meyer, thank, thank you, you for being here. Thank you for having here. me.